All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing a Beretta M9A3. It'll first come in this cardboard box. On the back here, have a nice shooting target. Okay. The gun is gonna ship inside of an ammo crate. With that Beretta M9A3 logo. latch on the side. Open it up like that. All right. This gun will ship with three stainless steel 17 round mags. These are all Beretta made mags that are manufactured in Italy. And have these black followers on the top black uh, floor plates. All right, on this side here, you get an additional grip. It's got a nice rubber texture with some dot texture on the side there and on the back strap. Get your Beretta branded lock. Inside here, get all your documentation, a few other extra goodies. So first, you're gonna get three additional O-rings. We'll go over what those are for in a minute. Nice M9A3 sticker, that is black and FDE. Get your M9A3 manual. with pictures on the inside. Get your warranty registration card. A Massachusetts warning card. Another warning card stating that uh, the gun will fire without a magazine. Then you also get an addendum to the manual. Gun here. So, like I said, this is the Beretta M9 A3. There's a few changes to this model. We'll go over those changes. So, starting at the back here, you have a nice little beaver tail. Or might I say, a large beaver tail compared to most. On the back, as well as the front of the grip, it's gonna have some nice checkering. The grips on the side also have some checkering, as well as that dot texture that we saw on the on the rubber grip here. Okay, this is a single action, double action gun. I'll show you that it's safe. So, single action, double action means you can pull the trigger, it will pull the hammer back and fire, or you can pull the hammer back and fire in single action, uh, give you a much lighter trigger pull. So the safety also acts as a decocker, meaning if the hammer is back and the safety is in fire and you put it in safe, it will send the hammer forward. First few times you do that, you may be a little bit scared because uh, that hammer just goes forward, but there is a, a safety bar that does come up. So, as you can see, the safety is a ambidextrous safety. That mag release is ambi, and you can swap it to the other side. Move it on to the front here. You'll notice that typical Beretta open top slide and then the sights, these are tritium night sights, rear and front. That put the muzzle end, we'll have a half by 28 threaded barrel. 
with an orange o-ring and that's what those additional o-rings are for those are for when you're using the uh the threat protector and you will remove those o-rings if you ever use a suppressor on the bottom here you have a three section pick rail this trigger is a metal trigger and these grips uh, the grip overall is what's known as a vertex style grip it's a little bit thinner the angle is a little bit different uh, compared to your typical m9 and then on the bottom here you'll see that lanyard loop i'll show you what that magazine looks like inserted it's just got a little bit of an extended floor plate there So I'm going to bring in a M9 for comparison. First I'll set them side by side like this. Kind of get you a nice size comparison there. So one of the first things I noticed was that the finish on the M9 A3 is just a solid black while the M9 is a blued finish on the frame. The slide is the solid black. Um, I'll show you the grips. See if you can see how much thinner that is on the back. It's not much, but the angle is definitely different when looking at them side by side. You got a big hump on the M9 there. The A3 is straight down. Also on the M9, you do not get that pick rail on the bottom. Overall though, this is a nice uh, nice upgrade if you're a current M9 or 92FS owner. This would be a nice gift or upgrade for anyone. You do have a round chambered indicator right here. It's gonna flip out and you'll see that red on the side. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.